you are a hero no more. Those words were spoken by Shanine McLean, Elijah's mother today, as Peter Chikuniak awaited his sentencing. If you take a look here, this is video of her walking out of that courthouse today with her fist in the air. You see it there. This is actually a gesture that we've seen before after each trial and sentencing thus far. Shanine spoke in the courtroom today saying bad training is no excuse. There is no excuse for a firefighter who is trained to save or preserve life to just stand by and watch attentively as someone loses theirs. Peter is a cause of his own demise. You are a local hero no more. Next time, think for yourself and don't follow the directions from a crowd of cowards. We know in August of 2019, Chikuniak arrived on scene after officers had stopped and restrained Elijah. He was the fire lieutenant that night and authorized the decision to administer 500 mg's of ketamine to Elijah. Prosecutors argued that large dose killed him. Chikuniak was convicted in December and has been behind bars ever since, asking a judge for mercy today. I am truly sorry for the loss of her son's life, and I wish more than anything that we had a better outcome that night. If I could go back and make changes that I knew would save, would save Elijah's life, I would. Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser releasing a statement reading in part, quote, it sends a strong message that no profession, whether a paramedic, a nurse, a police officer, an elected official, or a CEO should be immune from criminal prosecution for actions that violate the law and harm people. So the maximum amount of time Chikuniak could have received was 16 years behind bars. He did receive the minimum, which is five years. Now, though it is a lighter sentence, a firefighters union says the case puts criticism on split second decisions made by first responders. Chikuniak has 49 days to appeal that sentence. In studio, Talia Cunningham, Fox 31. All right, Talia, thank you.